good morning. <clears throat> I um, just wanted to share with you something I've written uh, called What Are You Basing Your Confidence On? It's based on the story of Hezekiah which, and it's found in three places in the Bible which always makes me sit up and notice things if they're repeated. Um, it's in 2 Kings 18, 2 Chronicles 32 and Isaiah 36 and 37 um, and it's just written, it's something very personal to me, my own personal um, struggle with confidence I suppose, so just sharing in case it also resonates with anyone else. Hezekiah, a man of many mistakes, wearing a crown, known as a king like no other, who trusted in God and followed his commands and his ways and God held him fast through all his adventures. Surrounded by enemy armies of the king of Assyria, Hezekiah saw and spoke out the truth beyond the visible. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged. Do not be intimidated. There is a greater power with, it, with us than with him. There are more on our side than on their side. He only has a bunch of mere men we have God to help us and fight for us. Scornful, fear-striking questions came from the king of Assyria. What makes you so confident on what are you basing this confidence of yours? That you remain in Jerusalem under siege? What kind of backing do you have? You're living in a world of make-believe and fantasy. Words are no match for an army and weapons, military strategy and troops. In whom are you trusting for help? So Isaiah, he he sorry, Hezekiah turned to his Lord. In torn clothes and sackcloths, he entered the sanctuary to pray. He sent messengers summoning the prophet Isaiah and God sent him a sign and a promise. Sow, reap, plant, eat, Put down roots, make a new start. Don't fear or be frightened by the lies you've been told. He won't shoot an arrow, raise a shield or build a ramp. He will return the way he came. He won't set foot in the city. God will defend, protect and save. And that night the angel of the Lord entered the enemy camp. 185,000 soldiers were slaughtered and the army retreated. Whatever our mistakes, whatever our story, each of us are called by our own name, a person like no other. Trust in God, follow his commands and his ways. God will f hold us fast like he did Hezekiah. God will turn what threatens to overwhelm us into an adventure. We each have a crown to wear, a lead to take. Our Jerusalems are the places and spaces that we occupy our own spheres of influence, both seen and unseen, internal and external, present realities, future dreams. See and speak out the truth beyond the visible. Be strong and courageous. Don't be afraid or discouraged. Do not be intimidated. There is a greater power with us than with whatever is against us. We have God to help us and fight for us. Our enemy armies are the pressures and fears of life, lies, self-doubt, that surround our God-given places and spaces and threaten to invade and overwhelm. I often hear and ask myself these scornful, fear-striking questions. What makes you so confident? What makes you think you can occupy this space? What kind of backing do you have? And there are two different responses I am naturally drawn to concede some ground, occupy a smaller, easier space, or find confidence in that which is more tangible, achievement, success, popularity, good opinion, resources, but that kind of confidence easily crumbles. It is a fragile piece. There is only one place to go, strip away the performance, the outward veneer and step into a space of solitude and sanctuary to pray. The all-knowing, all-loving, all-powerful, all-patient one. Reach out, send for help, hear God's message through others. He turns around the accusing questions 
and uses them to lead me into peace. What are you basing your confidence on? He asks me. What makes you think you can't occupy this space? Are you forgetting the backing you have? You're living in truth and supernatural reality. None of these things you've been fearing are a match for God's words. In whom are you trusting for help? Yourself and your ability or God? Receive the sign and the promise. Settle peacefully in our God-given space. Put down roots, make a fresh start. Don't fear or be frightened by the lies we've been told. That which threatens to overwhelm us can't enter our space, attack or invade, but will, re but will return the way it came. God will defend, protect and save. Sleep peacefully whilst the angel of the Lord fights on our behalf. His weapon is love's perfection. Fear is overcome and can only retreat. His gift of perfect peace replaces our fragile peace. We are strong and courageous, perfect love.